Now on this episode, we're giving away a couple things. We're gonna give away this Battery Tender Junior battery charger. It's kind of a trickle charger and a Sally Speed Shop t-shirt. For anyone who puts the word charger in the comment, you also need to like and subscribe, be a subscriber. And we'll use some software that picks a winner at random. So what you need to do is subscribe, like, and put in the comment section the word charger. So good luck. Hey, and also tell a friend about it. Maybe they need a battery charger. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We are here at Sally Speed Shop with the one and only Mustang trash bag. This car, as some of you know, have been watching, had sat in the field for 40 years and we found an engine for it that sat in the museum for 40 years. And my dad wanted the worst running fastback on planet Earth, and here we go. <laughs> that wasn't originally the goal, but it kind of turned into it after working on it for a while. Well, just the way he does work, that's just kind of how it turns out. <laughs> there's a little bit of truth to that. When people are fiberglassing their roof and their floor pans, you know there's something wrong. Yeah. What we're doing today is trying to finish up putting it together on the exterior because we're taking it to a car show this weekend. Uh, it's the Sonoya Car Show, which is last year where we found the engine that is in this car now running. We're actually gonna be parked right on Main Street, right in front of the museum this engine came out of. So it's kind of a cool full circle thing. You know, it's totally a show car. People are gonna love seeing how nice this thing is. Oh yeah. So we've got some valences and some bumpers. Ford Crazy, our friend Sean, found us some used bumpers that, you know, they're, they're way nicer than they should be, but they're at least used to where they kind of match the car. We've got our brackets, our turn signals, and we've got some new metal for the front and rear valences. So we're gonna paint those with some random colors that kind of match the car and try to make them look a little old. I found this one at Lowe's the other day and it is probably the closest match, but we've got some blue over here and then- Some grays, know. some browns. There's a lot of different colors on this car. It really doesn't matter if it's perfect. Actually, not perfect is the goal. Yeah, um, this just looks too nice compared to the rest of the car. So we're gonna make them look a little messy, put a bunch of different colors on it. And then uh, I guess we need to clean the car windows because the rest of the car you can't really clean. Yeah, I might fiberglass. <laughs> clean the windows and wheels, that's all you can do. I might get the floor pans fiberglass tomorrow. Tonight is a Thursday. We're gonna get the bumpers on and the valences and the turn signals and reverse lights. We have both front and rear. Yeah. And then I might do the floor pans tomorrow because they're still pretty much garbage. Well, we still have these just sitting in here so we can at least screw these in. Because as you yeah. can see, it's just a giant hole there. It's bad. You can see the rust on the dash there too because the car sat without a windshield for a certain amount of time. And what's kind of amazing is that even though it didn't have a windshield, the steering, oh, the bearing feels perfect. The steering column works great. I don't know wild. about the uh, turn signal switch. We haven't hooked them up. They could work for all we know. Yeah. We're gonna get to work. So we're gonna start doing some sanding and painting on the valences. Hope they turn out okay and work on getting the uh, parts put on the car. Yeah, totally the things we need to worry about. Not the giant hole in the deck lid, the holes in the floor. Bumpers and valences. Yeah. They well, matter. it's gonna give it that complete look because it's incomplete right now. You know, that's just been bothering me. All right, let's get it over. Front bumper is on the car, uh, got their valence on there. It definitely doesn't match perfect. It looks way too good still, but you know, from a distance, you don't really notice it. Not no, so much. Being up under the car. It kind of blends in, but we are missing a couple bumper brackets and the little filler piece that goes between the bumper and the front end of the car. I didn't realize we needed that. Yeah. We have plenty of other work to do up here though. As you can see, nothing's really tight. There's a big gap here because this is bent over. So 
We just need to hit the front of the car with a sledgehammer, I think. And it would fix out all I of our problems. I think we need to just drive it to Alaska. Yeah, like it is? The 4th of July. I don't. Next, <laughs> next year. Oh, and jump it off one of the cliffs? <laughs> yeah, it might be for the best. But uh, now we're gonna move around to the back and get the rear bumper put on, which hopefully is a little easier. The front fought us a little bit there, but the rear is much simpler. Yep. So. And the paint job. It's beautiful, rust colored. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna put you guys back on the time lapse and get to work. is on and the turn signal markers it looks like we maybe got the wrong bumpers we bought these over in alabama from our buddy sean ford crazy linehan and he got them from a local guy over there i think they're the 67 68 they stick out wider the bolts line up pretty well but yeah i think we got swindled by some Alabama boys, because that is not right. It looks better than nothing on there, and they weren't too expensive. We'll be ordering some more bumpers from uh, CJ Pony Parts. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. About to see if the Mustang fires up on a nice cold morning. <laughs> starts to overheat because uh, it doesn't like traffic very much it's definitely something we need to address so doing a little bit of pushing while waiting in line rather than letting it get nuclear so hopefully it behaves itself and drives itself up on the main street like it's supposed to we'll see as you can see it's well over 200 it's not quite to 230 so it's really not like the end of the world I'm just saving it for when I really need to be able to fire it up so 
hopefully this works. There we go. We're officially rolling on the main street, so that's a win. We're number 235. 235? It should be in front of the buggy van. All right, we're cruising. Thank you, sir. So one of the cool things about this show is we are right on Main Street in Sonoya. Super cool town. The Walking Dead was filmed here. It's gotten to be a pretty popular tourist area, so it's always cool to have a show here. They're getting some cars parked up ahead of us. There is some beautiful stuff here already. So we'll get parked where we belong and be in business. Well, there we go. We are officially parked. The car got up to about 230 degrees coming in here. So hopefully it doesn't puke its guts out now that it's sitting there about 240 now. But uh, we made it and that's what counts. So we're right in front of the buggy museum. This is literally where the engine for this car came out of, which is cool. Um, but yeah, made it to the show. This is this car's first show in at least 40 years, if not ever, because who knows if it got taken to a show back when it was new. But it's here. Now this guy said he's got two rusty Fords beside each other. I think he's mistaken. His car, his truck actually has paint on it. <laughs> We've got like remnants of paint left. But yeah, should be a good day.
your name? Uh, Aiden. Aiden, what do you think of the car? Good. It's good? We got a fan out here. He was holding the camera there for a minute. But uh, that's a wrap here at the Sonoya Annual Car Show on Main Street. Talked to a lot of people about the car. They seem to really enjoy the story and the stupidity behind the world's worst running fastback Mustang. We're gonna call that a wrap and hopefully the car makes it back to the shop. You think we'll be able to make it home in this? Yeah. You think it'll make it? Not gonna be an issue? All right, guys, we appreciate you watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Me and Aiden, we'll see you on the next one. It's called Sally's Speed Shop is what we do, so. Wait, 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 do you have it for YouTube? Can I hold it like this? You can if you want to. You're a videographer now. <laughs> okay, I gotta let check the inside. What do you think of it? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Turn it around. You can talk to the camera. You see how it shows you in it? Yeah. Um, hey guys, <laughs> now we're doing another video about looking at other cars, maybe the police car. <laughs> it's like all the way right over there. Most of the cars are gone now, the show's wrapping up. Yeah, but the show actually wrapped, there are no cars here. Mm -hmm. Put it in the comments, so we're good. Put it in the comments, look, he's a pro already. <laughs> okay, bye, peace out. It.